Good morning. I'm a bit more on fencing, but just before I start, this is what two pigs can do to a piece of wet ground in about a day. And there's the idea of them up in the trailer, happy and eating. Hopefully it'll go in as easy tomorrow morning. But back to the fencing. What I've done is I put in creosoted, five foot creosoted posts every 15 paces. And I use these as straining posts for the electric wire. You cannot strain off these. They're just not strong enough. Uh, but they are useful for supporting the wire between your straining posts. I put one of these every three paces. Now, a tip I found was what height do you put your uh, your insulators and your fence lines at? Well, what I normally do is push this down in beside the post. And whatever height you want your electric fence at, just put an insulator in opposite it. And regardless of the, the of what way the ground's undulating, the lines will stay all at the same height. It is important to remember that you must keep the grass short underneath your bottom uh, bottom line, because if you don't, you'll short out the fence. And also, if the pigs are small, you need the fence low. Now, as they get bigger, you can move it up. Those two guys you see in the trailer, uh, these two top lines would be enough. Now, types of fencing. Uh, you can use chain link and you can use sheep wire. But if you put in sheep wire, make sure it's good and tight. I'm going to pause this for a minute and walk over. <laughs> 